bring lots of spaceships. Starfield. Planets. Ladies and gentlemen. Starfield. Then friends. We're we're ready. Ready to party. Hope you bring lots of spaceships. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Come on in, it's fun party. Starfield. Fiesta. Fiesta. La Bamba. Ay, caramba. Disguises. Disguises. Surprises. Surprises. And planets. All sizes. Ladies and gentlemen. Starfield. Then friends. We're ready, ready to, to party. We're ready to party. We're ready. Yeah. I hope you bring lots of spaceships. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Come on in, it's fun party. Starfield. Fiesta, romance, siesta, samba, la bamba. Ay, caramba, disguises. Surprises. Surprises and planets. All sizes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Starfield. Then friends. We're, we're ready, ready to, to party. party. We're ready to party. We're ready. Yeah. I hope you bring lots of spaceships. Yeah. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Starfield. Fiesta. Fiesta. La Bamba. Ay, caramba. Disguises. Surprises. And planets. All sizes. Ladies and gentlemen. Starfield. Then friends. We're, we're ready, ready to, to party. I hope you bring lots of spaceships. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Come on in, it's fun party. Starfield. Fiesta, romance, siesta, samba, la bamba. Ay, caramba, disguises, disguises, surprises, surprises, and planets. All sizes. Ladies and gentlemen. Starfield. Then friends. We're, we're ready, ready to, to party. We're ready to party. We're ready. Yeah. I hope you bring lots of spaceships. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Come on in, it's fun party. Starfield. Fiesta, romance, siesta, samba, la bamba. Ay, caramba, disguises. Surprises, surprises, and planets. All sizes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Starfield. Then friends. We're, we're ready, ready to, to party. We're ready to party. We're ready. Yeah. I hope you bring lots of spaceships. Yeah. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Starfield. Fiesta. Fiesta. La Bamba. Ay, caramba. Disguises. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Whoa. We're in space. Not Welcome to lasagna space. Any space. Wow. I, I ruined it. Space. I, I leaked it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never Ooh. been in lasagna space before. Well, how None does it feel? <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> I actually, so I made it with half 
dairy free cheese and oh, half dairy nice. cheese. That so so oh, that's so nice. It should be okay you. on your end, but don't come too close. Okay, okay, okay. So this half is like the dairy free cheese, and that half. And that's okay. how cheese works mm. when you put it on okay. a pizza. Hi, everybody. We're playing Starfield and friends, and this stream is brought to you by. GameStop Starfield launches on Xbox on September 6th uh, and you yourself fans you can get an additional $50 of trade credit when you trade in any console towards an Xbox Series X next week in stores that is September 3rd through September 16th uh, that's quite a long window this is the perfect time to upgrade to an Xbox Series X and we're gonna be playing freaking Starfield uh, much like you could be on September 6th, when nice. it launches on Xbox. <laughs> and we're starting from the beginning of the game, right, We are Clayton? starting from the very Fish. beginning. Uh, I have a Series X. It's a good console. Especially, Hell yeah. yeah, you get, you know. She's powerful. Powerful. She's strong. 4K. It's, and it's small, which is kind of cool for, like, such a powerful thing. Mm. Um, not not saying anything about other consoles that may or not have different sizes, but <laughs> the Series X, it's a, sm all it's a small, powerful console. All sizes are beautiful. Yeah. All, all consoles um, come in size beautiful. Yeah. So we're, we're also going to be sharing some space facts um, today while so we're important. on stream. Um, but since we're in lasagna space, I'm also going to start to get together some lasagna facts. Oh. <gasps> That's so, so gonna smart. Have, we're going to have a mix of both. Yeah. Th is there lasagna in Starfield? There could be. There is a playable class called Chef. There is. You could be a <laughs> yeah. chef. Um, but there's a surprising amount of different snacks you can find. They're like, you know, okay. vacuum sealed and astronaut style. Um, I don't know. I feel like we can't. Well, this is, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that there's a company in it called Chunks that just makes cubed, cubed food. Lasagna is kind of cubed, like a little bit. It's a big cube. You're right. I have It'd to be say. It's very cube, cubable. There's a rest. This has nothing to do with our Starfield stream. So if you if you have something to do, please do it. Well, However, you, real quick, do we want to get started? Yeah, let's at least because it was a cutscene at first. So let's, Great. Let's start. Can I talk about lasagna during it, or should I yeah, be quiet? Okay. Well, the lady will be talking. Not I'll, right I'll, at the bat. You got a little bit of music that you can talk. Okay, really I'll have grand. a narrow window. Okay, yeah. let's do this. Let's do this, and I will do my best. <laughs> okay, let me see that game footage. New let me game. see that game footage. Let's go. There's a restaurant called Motel Morris, uh, like around Chelsea, and they had on the menu last time I went a like lasagna crisp, essentially. Ooh. And it was, I asked the waitress, like, what is this? And she was like, well, it started out as a staff snack and we all loved it so much that we put it on the menu. It is literally like a thin chip size of lasagna. They bake a lasagna, slice it so thin, and then fry it into a chip. It's incredible. Wow. I, I accomplished my goal. I, I told you that what I needed you to know. All right, you so know? we're like 300 years in the future. And they oh. serve it with marinara dipping sauce. Okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> so the year of uh, 2,323? Uh, 30. So oh, okay. not, not too far off from 300, okay. 300 years. Okay, great. Seeds are good. Oxygen's good. Just do I do find it amusing that as I'm searching for lasagna pa facts, there's just a page What's called Interesting Facts About Lasagna. <laughs> Who makes this? The internet. I love the internet. <laughs> Who makes this? You can still find good stuff there sometimes. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the startup. Except, uh, with more so, and accidental the thing, you know, I, I was had a chance to play some of this beforehand, so I was familiar with it. And the <laughs> thing that did stand out to me when I was playing was just like, oh, wow, a new Bethesda game and a whole new IP, a whole new world, um, a chance to see some new stuff from them. Um, Delicious. Right off the bat, we're in an elevator. Yeah. <laughs> Bold choice. But are we perhaps about to see... Something cool, like space. Oh, get ready. I am always saying this. Yeah, you just start as a belt to load up. This is a very, um, you have, I, I actually said, I told Tara that it's kind of like No Man's Sky and Interstellar, like very derivatively, like that's a very quick description of the game. Um, but honestly, there's some, there is expanse in this. You get some of that sci-fi. Also, I think about that movie with the, uh, the, the, the Pitman. Um, the Pitman. At Astra. 
Ad Astra? Yes. I don't think it was a great movie, but it definitely had this similar kind of like, I think as the people who the developers have called it NASA punk, um, it definitely has that kind of look to it. Um, oh. That that movie sort of has. Is this another movie where Brad Pitt's in space? Yeah. Hmm. And it's different from The Martian. Hmm. He's not human? So different. That's Matt Damon. That's Matt Damon. Well, close enough. Close enough. <laughs> you know, we all make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> And I'd like to own up to being the first person to make a mistake on this stream. Mm. And I apologize to Mr. Damon, and I apologize to Mr. Pitt. So, uh, I, sorry I did hype it, and I didn't t point it out, but we did just get off that elevator into a beautiful cave. Cave! Oh. <laughs> Caves are very exciting, but also quite terrifying. Because, <laughs> like, especially if you're in a cave that, like, the tides rise or whatever. I am always... You know? <laughs> There's no water. Caves. There's no water caves. on this planet. So no oh, worries. good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But are there like tremors? Uh, I just don't think we belong down there. I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with y'all. There are places that humans don't belong. Caves is one of them. Under the ocean is the other one. Mm. Um, space. I, I'm honestly iffy about space. I'm iffy about it. I'm Ooh. iffy about it. You know, I was gonna ask a question of oh, like, I, I think I've asked before like here. questions like, oh, would you rather like die in space or die at sea or something mm -hmm. like that? And I was about to be like, oh, would you rather die in space or die in a cave? And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> There's a secret I third just think thing. <laughs> at, least, at least dying in space, your last thoughts are, I was in space. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. Yeah. I don't, I'll, I'm gonna just put this out there. I don't wanna die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. What made you think that? <laughs> uh, all my life, I've just known that I don't want to die. All my, all my life, like since I was five, since I like uh, mm. achieved sentience, you know, I, I just realized, hmm, dying, not one of my goals. Hold up. Are you laser mining right now mm -hmm. for resources? Yeah. <gasps> they just give you a laser like that. So two things. You're hearing this, Simone, right? Uh huh. Is this everyone good laser sound and then good rock breaking sound? Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, right? Yeah. right? Oh yeah. Bethesda's yeah. still on the top of their game there. They got good sound effects that how, you're going to hear a lot. Of. How would you rank this like in comparison to the uh, ore mining in Mass Effect 2? That has a different vibe. This is more interactive, and mm -hmm. that's like a chill. You got like a synth. Meditative. Meditative. Okay. You're just kind of hitting menus. So this is I will more... say, that's a good thing to bring up, though, because I think this game's spaceness is a little bit more like Mass Effect than No Man's Sky. And you'll mm. see why in a little bit, what I okay. mean there. Um, God, we've all got. Everyone's got some really good usernames in chat today. Mm. <laughs> There's some. <laughs> As if like people changed their usernames around, and yeah. it's like, oh, good choices I today. Think we're just bringing in a new crowd, yeah. and y'all are really on point with your usernames. Nice, nice. Got it. You have a flashlight. Oh, gooey xylophone. I, I'm seeing what See? you're seeing. I'm you're seeing what you're seeing. <laughs> Picking up what yeah. I'm putting down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So space fact. Space fact. Time. Space fact. Time. I might. Are you gonna you make might us... put that on hold for a oh. sec oh. because there's okay. something weird. Okay something weird i don't gravity know gravity problem actually look check out these things <gasps> boop boop <gasps> little cubes boop collision oh and you can move them boop, boop. wait when you said that there's a company that makes like cube food or is this food this has nothing to do with that <laughs> as far as i know why are there so many cubes in this game holy shit we're cracking it open <laughs> We've cracked Space the code. Space is just a series of cubes. I'm just saying, you find like a book about the history of this company <laughs> called mm -hmm. Chunks. Chunks. Uh, or maybe it's Chunky or something. I don't know. I we'll hope it's it. just Chunks, honestly. Yeah, because yeah, it's like saying Cheerios. Mm -hmm. Chunks. Did chunks. I do this enough? Can I take it? Flakes. The take plural chunks. of chunk. All right, here we chunk go. is chunk eye. Here we mm. go. Let's touch this thing. That's a yeah, good idea. Yeah, touch right? that thing. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, yeah, but, but wait. Great, whoa. game over. <laughs> Look what you did. Oh, they're taking us to lasagna space. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. Did you let them know that you're lactose intolerant? No. Shit. They should give a warning before you start this game. Like, do not play if you're lactose intolerant. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's all dairy free anyway. True. Is it gluten free? Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. 
Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. I believe it just okay. We're okay. What about spiritually? Spiritual you know who you damage. are? New recruit for Argos Extract. Wait, who am I? Ring any bells? <gasps> any of this look familiar? Does your face look familiar? Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, so I'm now, so excited for this. Yeah, we'll do this. I don't. I, we won't spend too much time on it because it is not. It's not as um, a much of. You can't. You can't do bad things. It doesn't. Okay. You. Um, but you until know, this we'll, gets modded to yeah. hack and back. <laughs> we'll do some role playing things. Um, yeah, I like the little circle that they give you yeah, for I choosing mean, things. I think that's kind of cool. Uh -huh. mm. There's a lot of granularity to it. Um, I'm gonna give us some muscles. I think we should be strong. Team worm proposes um, as a plural of chunk. Chunk to pose is, is or we had chunk joked, topities. Um, we had mm -hmm. joked at one point about trying to make Garfield, but you can't make yourself orange. Mm. Uh, so problem. my other option was John Arbuckle. Yeah. Um, actually, Simone, would you mind bringing up a picture of John I could bring up Arbuckle, a picture of, of John Arbuckle. Arbuckle. Um, John Arbuckle. Yeah. Is this good for you? <laughs> There's not a lot going on there, honestly. It's it's just brown hair. There's a white guy with brown hair. <laughs> so all video games. That's why I make Ernest Hemingway all the time. Because yeah. it's very... Uh, it's, they usually let it in there. It's pretty straightforward. Um, Although, how do you think John Arbuckle will walk? Ooh. Um, or... Ooh. I'm uh, leaning towards two. I'm I am wondering... leaning towards two. How did you remember his last name? Like, is this common knowledge that the guy in Garfield's last name is Arbuckle? I don't. I don't know. Is uh, this honestly. like your Amazon River Part Two? <laughs> <laughs> do Do you guys know He's that too? Do you guys face, know the guy's actually. name? I I don't know about you, but I had like um, Garfield like comics when I was growing up. Like, my parents would buy the books. And so I would just read the books of, of the comics. So that's how I learned John Arbuckle's name. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I actually did read the comics sometimes, um, but also uh, the TV show. I saw that enough mm. that I, I knew his name. I think I read a Garfield comic at some point, but it definitely was not like um, an active part of my childhood or even a passive wow. part of my childhood. <laughs> That's yeah. incredible to think about. I feel like if I just make, if we get the hair first, it'll make the rest a lot. The hair is really gonna bring it all together. Where, he's got kind of, he's got the curly hair? '90s hair. He's got the hair that every you're right, you're right. guy in a 1990s sitcom had. Okay, and I'm talking Seinfeld. I'm talking Northern Exposure. I'm talking Full House. I'm talking um, the other ones. This is a little bit delayed, but you know, you mentioned like you know making Garfield orange. So speaking might of go colors, with that one. That speaking might of be colors, this is my segue. In the northern Italian region of Emilia Romana, and especially in its capital, Bologna, <gasps> layers. I, why does Bologna also sound like a dish? Anyways, because it is. It is. Well, I'm not huh? thinking about bologna. Never mind. Go on. I was thinking bologna. <laughs> I mean, um, it is. It's just better. They make much better bologna. Oh, okay. There. Okay. Layers of lasagna are traditionally green. The what? The color is obtained by mixing spinach or other vegetables in the dough. Can I see the arbuckle again? Yes. Green, Sorry. Green actually lasagna. have a lot of good Bo Bolognese. Bolognese. That's what I'm thinking of. Yes. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Well, but I just I looked it up. I think that's actually the good food they make there, not bologna. No, they make bologna sausage. Okay. It's informally bologna. We call it bologna because we're... Do, <laughs> yeah, we do bad things. In this country. I just want to say bologna. No. <laughs> bologna. I, I want to eat some be... bologna. Hair color needs to be a bit darker. Yeah, like a bit like of that. a rich. Yes, that's. This oh, one or this that. One? Oh, that one's perfect. That's this perfect. Okay. I think. Yeah. Um and yeah, do we think this is getting the closest to that? Like I, that's pretty close. Around yeah. <laughs> blobs. Because the other one I found that was similar was I think less hair, and I think he has a good head of hair. He has a good head of hair on okay. him. But now we just need to make his face as round as possible. Because that's yes. and huge eyes. If po I like, okay, let me yes. find the biggest mm -hmm. eyes. I'll give you a head on. I view can of do John a little Arbuckle. bit of eye. And he's got a pretty tiny nose. What am I? No, that's the eyebrows. That is a very tiny nose. Okay, I need the, to make sure. The yeah, he doesn't be. really um, have brows. Tiny nose kings, rise up. Yeah. Ooh, those oh. Are pretty big. Oh, I like that. Let's see. Oh, 
Uh, what are his eyebrows? Does he? Does he doesn't he have, have eyebrows. Okay, we so gotta get rid of those eyebrows if we get can rid of possibly them. Whoa, do that. Whoa, Nicholas JT, did that happen? Can Simone? Can you confirm if that happened or not? I don't know anything. Let me pop in about um, that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that a thing? I thought. Yes, it is implied that John Arbuckle had a mix-up, well, I think, in the vet's office. Oh, my with a God. Oh, it's heavily of... implied. Yeah, don't finish that sentence. Okay. This is a sponsored stream. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I've yes. been ordered not to finish my sentence. Uh, and... And... and well, <laughs> 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 but and that has nothing to do with why he doesn't have eyebrows. Um, that's doesn't, an artistic choice. Am I remembering a comic where he actually does like, all ver, of a sudden, like, like lose like, all his hair, including his eyebrows, and he runs in and tells Garfield that? And nothing let me happened. look up Ball Jarn. Jar <laughs> ball Jarn. We, ball -jarn. <laughs> we got Bologna, and then we got Ball Jarn. I can't freaking type Ball John Arbuckle. You're correct. I think. <laughs> No, this is just a Twitter account that makes yeah. every makes your favorite characters bald. Um, mm, so, <laughs> how's his nose? Sorry, he has like no nose, really. Right? Whoa, it's tiny. Whoa, it's more just kind of like a ridge that makes. Yeah, his he. I want mouth. no brows and barely any nose on How that did man. they pick an actor for this man in that movie? I mean, there are plenty of people in Hollywood who have no eyebrows and no, no eyebrows, nose. no nose, and huge eyes. I mean, I feel like just like there's a lot of people that give off the vibe of that guy because he's just a guy, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty easy to find like a guy. Like to me, this is. <laughs> I'm joking on my tea. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, yes! I hate the smile. No, I, I love it. I love that. it. It's really good. Uh, okay. Someone said that's Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> oh no! Can you make his nose smaller? I will try. Okay. He has a tiny neck. If I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give him. He's no Formula One driver. He would explode if they put him in one of those cars. True. I don't think ooh, John Arbuckle ooh, wears ooh, jewelry. Ooh, speaking of explosions, um, uh, segue, segue, segue. Yeah. Uh, 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 I swear to God, there's, uh, yeah, okay. Big Bang is an explosion. Mm. Ever since the Big Bang, most objects in space have been moving away from one another. In fact, the expansion of the universe is actually accelerating. And as regions of space are whizzing away from one another at an ever-increasing rate, the first population of stars to form in the universe are now too far away for us to ever have hope of spying them. Um, but maybe we can spot them indirectly via the energetic bursts of radiation they emit at the end of their lives. I hate that. I hate it too because it just means that like aliens and stuff are getting further away from us and like space yeah. exploration is just going to become like harder and harder and harder. And anytime you think about just like the universe think, getting bigger. It's an existential. Right, we're gonna move. What is John Arbuckle's background? Yeah. Ooh, Beast Hunter. <laughs> Beast Hunter. That's why Perpetual there's no Garfield Panda. anymore. Thank you well, for the um, eleven months. What is his actual job? His job is, he... is cartoonist. Oh. So. Okay. okay. Do we have something that's like artist? I think there might be. If there's artist. Oh, sculpture. Sculptor. sculptor. Okay. Is it's that the closest definitely... thing to an artist in this game? Oh, so it is. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm not gonna spend much more time on this. Uh, traits. Okay. Ooh. Does he have a little alien DNA, a dream home, and is he an empath, an extrovert? He has some sort of DNA, though. Uh, <laughs> I think he... Hero-worshipped, introvert. Is he more... In he he's always trying to date, but he's bad at and it. And he has a cat, and his cat's his best friend, so I would say introvert. That's, that's true, really he does good, have a yeah. cat. Yeah, he's an introvert. I, I would say yeah. uh, Serpent's Embrace. So that's a religion. Does he strike oh. you as religious? No, no, not at all. Taskmaster? He tries to be. Wanted. <laughs> what crimes did John Arbuckle commit? Wanted. Yeah, I mean, why else would he be in space? He's <laughs> a wanted man. Um, okay, so, hold on. Kid stuff. What does that mean? You have parents. You Aww. have parents? Does he ever have parents? Does John Arbuckle have They are, canonically, yes. he has parents. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, then he should have that one. Great. Not extra. Oh, can't be extra. Okay, and then yeah. the last one, just to make this interesting, we could give him wanted. Wanted. John Arbuckle has committed a crime. I like that canon. I yeah. like that head I think canon. that's fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think we're done. Hell John yeah. Arbuckle. He's with us. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, okay. And what do I confirm with? 
Mm. X. Okay. Yes, people in chat confirming Garfield or John Arbuckle has parents. Okay, um, great. And propose that perhaps he's wanted for Garfield murder. And can oh. you, Pat, give me a... Or... Yeah, what do you want? John Arbuckle. Sure. I, I think what... So the crime that he would have done... I, I, I don't think John Arbuckle did a crime. I think Garfield framed him <gasps> for crimes. Oh, and that's why he's wanted. That's yeah. why we have to flee the planet. Right. Oh, that's such a good Thank point. Thank you, Pat. Yay. That's such a good point. All right. Well, hey, Almost while... Oh, you nope, we're talking Did you now. know he was spelled that way, or is that just a wild guess? I know. Okay, okay. Every, does everyone knows how to spell John Arbuckle's name. So no, I not Laura the John part. John I actually Arbuckle. didn't know if it was a J-H, J-H, uh, uh, oh, I knew how to spell the last name, obviously. <laughs> I just think... <laughs> I've... I, I, did you just ever well, discover you like a sure. something about yourself that you think is so universal, and then you <laughs> find out nobody else read yeah, volumes of Garfield comics when they were kids? And volumes. <laughs> I also <laughs> like that uh, Modest Mouse Potato made a typo and <laughs> said Gargield. <laughs> Gargield. <laughs> Gargield. <laughs> that would be a Skyrim character, Gargield. Uh, so you can play this game in third person, so we can see Mr. Arbuckle. Whoa. Well, while while war world war world at this point, I might as well remind people that this stream is brought to you by GameStop. And Starfield launches on Xbox <laughs> on September sixth, and if you would like to trade in any console, you can get an additional fifty dollars of trade credit towards an Xbox Series X, uh, starting September third, running through September sixteenth. So it's the perfect time to upgrade. Um, quick question yeah. in chat from a first time chatter. One, two, or ten. What was the name of the cat in Garfield? Ooh, shit, I don't remember. Can, can um, we Google it? Can we Google it? Okay, cat in Garfield. I'm not gonna get anything weird when I Google this, nermal, right? Nermal, nermal. People are saying nermal. <laughs> um, the I cat's forgot about nermal, so I thought that was just, just trolling you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the cat in Garfield? <laughs> All right, Dusty. What is Garfield? Fritz. Marmaduke. Fritz the cat. Marmaduke, yeah. <laughs> Gargield. <laughs> it's uh, Salem, I think. It, I, lo I love the, the comic oh, Garfield no, starring Press the cat Gargield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Access my inventory. Oh, I need to put a helmet. Oh, oh you listening. gotta put a. <gasps> he, honestly, we did a good job. Yeah, we. I went pretty quick just to. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so yeah, they've been waiting a long time. Wow, wow, wow. Space. Me when I see space. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> In front of me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so funny, though, if, like, you get up into space for the first time and, like, you look out the window and you're like, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Literally, me if I were an astronaut. <laughs> oh, we Don't even rocket. play. Look Don't that. let that thing land on you. No, 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 no. That'd be really funny if it landed on you. Some good rocket sounds. Yeah. That is good. It's even perhaps a little loud, and perhaps I would ask if Pat could turn down my game volume. <gasps> Whoa. Thick thighs save lives. Look at John there. <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess he probably shouldn't have been as chonky, but that's okay. No, I'm loving it. It's all the lasagna. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he ate Garfield. I feel like he <gasps> didn't eat much because Garfield know. ate his food. It's true. Garfield was always true, getting in there. True. I really love the the low grab jumping that you're doing. Oh yeah, it's good. It's very exciting. Very fun. Once I uh, realized the first planet was a little low grab, that was fun. God. I haven't figured out. I have not gotten a jump jet pack yet, and that's annoyed me. Rude. Good robot. Thank you. Just a warning. This is a good robot. Thank you for warning me. That's a great robot. He's busy. With a red right hand. Oh, we found something. Oh. A new guy found it. The new guy. That's me. That's me. That's me. I'm the new guy. <laughs> Everything did not go fucking cool, Barrett. We almost blew up. Have you ever been to Lasagna Space? She gets me. If Garfield he eats ate all so the much lasagna, he passed out. <laughs> mm. Clarodactyl brings up a good point. If Garfield eat all the lasagna, what has John to eat but Garfield? Yep. Mm. I'm not <laughs> saying that it happened, but so something I was gonna I, I think is 
I guess that, that went pretty quick, but I think this is an improvement on Bethesda's conversation animation. Oh. Definitely from, like, past games. I didn't play Fallout 4, so I don't know if maybe this is pretty much the same, mm -hmm. but I feel like this is an improvement. I think the facial animations are very good. It's, it's still that, you know, you're just staring at a character, which I guess to some people is not as interesting as games that do more framing, but uh, mm -hmm. we'll get back to conversations. Now it's time to shoot gun. Ooh, <laughs> shoot Enough gun. Of that. Yes. Yeah. Time to shoot gun. Beep boop. And then equip gun. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Garfield eat lasagna to save John from himself. Mm. He has high blood pressure. <gasps> and he keeps making lasagna. Yeah. I am. Uh, it is easier to play so this. this is happening Gunch. at lunchtime for us, and we cannot we... talk this much about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. On that note, let me give a lasagna fact. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> um, Make it a really gross one. I don't know that I have any gross lasagna facts. I'll be the judge uh, of that. Okay. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have any gross. Facts, but um, originally in Italy, the word lasagna did not refer to a food. The word lasagna referred to the pot in which the food was cooked. Huh. It is thought that the word lasagna for the pot it is derived from the Greek word for chamber pot. What? Oh, see, that's kind of gross. Didn't need to know that. That's a little bit gross, Tina. Oh, well, perfect. <laughs> I, I did guess it, we're then. not hungry I anymore. It. Yay! No. <laughs> Thank you, Vasco. <Yay. laughs> Lasagna. You your poop casserole. <laughs> Time to talk wow. To Yo, Barrett. What is the Greek word for chamber pot then? Greek uh, word. Point for. Right? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Lasagna is cancelled. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the crimson fleet. Whoops. Oopsie. Oh, did I do that? And I send your dusty here in my place. I have a name. Wait, this is so funny. Polygon stream in 200 years be like, the delicious delicacy we enjoy, urinal cakes, derives its name from. <laughs> Imagine. Thank you. Daddy Thanks drowsy ASMR. Everyone. I'm so going funny. to go do a cooler job than mining rocks. Wow, so now we're basically just being conscripted just because we touched a cool rock? This is my <laughs> literal nightmare. Yeah. As a person who loves to touch cool rocks. I'm like, um, going through stuff at my apartment right now, and, like, there's so many things I'm getting rid of, but then, like, I'll find, like, a random rock that looks kind of <laughs> cool, and I'm like, I'm keeping this. <laughs> yeah, cool rocks. It's so hard to get rid of cool rocks. Yeah. Once you, have on one. Once you have one. Once you have it. Those are books. Oh, dang it. Yeah. Wow. Bosco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to go find out what Constellation is, but what's the There's just following the loop. Like pirates do. <gasps> oh. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Ooh. So, uh, Pat, you were saying this is the same voice actor as the Red Guard? I want to check on that. Okay. I know they work with him in pretty much every game they do. Okay, okay. And Bosco, What's the character's name? Barrett. Two T's and Can two we R's. join the Crimson Fleet? I don't know. There's definitely a lot of faction this game's this game you can join. Cool. Oh, look at that. Can you go look at those mountains? Mm -hmm. Sorry to sound so aggressive, Misty but mountains. I need to look at those freaking mountains. Yeah! Yeah, I love that. That's okay, vista. thank you for that. The mountains. That makes me feel good. On the spaceship. Makes me feel glad. Come on, Vasco. You're my robot. Come actually. on. That's right. Oh, he's got a external robotics. 
This is my ship. Okay. Oh man, little Leviathan one two three says, "I want to know if you could have just gotten that pirate ship and joined them, like Todd said." Did Todd <laughs> say that we could just pop into the pirate ship and join them? <gasps> I feel like that might be a later thing because this is all pretty um, beginning of game. You gotta go to constellation. Hmm. I'm gonna sit in the cockpit. Nicholas JT says constellation, also from the ancient Greek word for toilet. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. But I choose to believe you. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. So yeah, this is in one way what I mean by like this is more Mass Effect and No Man's Sky space stuff. You don't land your ship. Mm -hmm. You just press the takeoff button or press a landing button. Okay. And it handles that for you and you land in the place that you want to go. Cool. And is this our ship now or are we kind This of is with essentially some? my ship. He said okay. it's yeah, it's alone, but um oh I want oh, to quick. Was talking about. Uh I am for spaceships. Uh, a inverted flight stick kind of person. Okay. Um, so it's gonna show us what space combat is like here. Space combat. Um, what planet are we looking at? So that's uh, I was like Faskaya or something. Um, okay. And I can look at the outside of my ship too. So this, yeah, spaceship flying in this is actually a little reminiscent of that Star Wars Squadrons that came out the other year, where you have power that you're managing between systems. Mm -hmm. um, and so he wants cool. me to take some power out of things and put it into the grav drive. Cool. Um, a cool space fact that I had no clue about, slash I'm, like, surprised by, but I guess it makes sense, is, um, wait, where did it go? Oh yeah, despite its appearance in the night sky, the moon is actually shaped like a lemon. What?! <laughs> Now, now I haven't double checked and verified this fact. It was just I on, need, it was I just need, on spacefacts.com. Hold on. Spacefacts.com. <laughs> or like, I don't know, not exactly spacefacts.com, but you know, one of those websites. Shape of the moon. <laughs> I mean, what you're doing is really cool. There. Oh, the moon is a scalene eclipsoid, according to Google. I can't a talk, talk everyone. According to Google. <laughs> yeah. What um, the fuck is a scalene eclipsoid? Yeah, but it, it says that, um, yeah, it has like flattened poles and bulges on both the near and far side around its equator. And the strange shape is thought to have been created during interactions with the Earth soon after its wow. formation. Which, I don't know. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> you shouldn't talk about her equator bulges on stream, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think the Earth, if you, like, shrunk it down to the size of a baseball, would be a very imperfect, imperfectly round. Mm. You'd I'm, very much notice that. I'm just Googling okay. lemon moon now. Nice. This, see, this is the image that, this is what ha! it said. Well, that is not what the moon yeah. looks like. Right? It looks like a football, <laughs> apparently. <No. laughs> or, a, or a lemon. There. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. How is it important to from that? I, I mean, so like one of the things is what I just mentioned, which is the fact that like you don't literally take off from planet and land on another planet. It's more menu based, like Mass Effect, uh, which is it, to some people is uh, more uh, like efficient. Like landing doesn't do anything. It's more immersive um, to actually feel like that's a planet I can land on myself. But also, it saves you a lot of time. This game is a lot of, like, quality of life things where you don't have to, like, go into the spaceship and then walk to your cockpit every time. Um, you can... I need to focus on not dying. You can just click this thing that just, like, put me right in the cockpit or even just take off um, instead of, like, going into your spaceship. So it's interested in, like, not making it annoying. Um, as far as... no, I mean, the thing is, is... The combat, I think, is a different thing. Definitely. Uh, I think it feels pretty good, and I don't even know if I've experienced everything that's possible in the combat yet. Mm. Um, 
there's more of an there's definitely more of an RPG system God. in this, like Bethesda. It's actually I'll, I'll level up here soon, and you'll see how it's it's almost like ooh, I'm taking hits. It's almost like a mixture of its upgrade systems from its past games. Um, you'll see God, why. the way you are so accustomed to being in no gravity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All your of years games. of space gaming are. <laughs> <laughs> coming into play. When you're a pro space gamer. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Like, if you ever, you know, need a career change, just, like, become an astronaut. Mm -hmm. Sign me up. A space engineer. Maybe. They love people yeah. who wear glasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Nicholas JT said, Dark Side of the Lemon. Uh. Oh, I, okay, I gotta go kill some more pirates. Moon good. Moon good. Just give me the Moon spot big. to go fast. <laughs> Moon's so big. Planet, so big. Okay, so like, again, if this was No Man's Sky, I'd be like flying over and landing on that planet, but instead I bring this up, and it's just like, go there. Cool. <laughs> and now I'm going there. Now we go. We go. So we are in, we're still in our solar system at this mm -hmm. point? Like, was that Saturn? No, no, we're not, we're not in Sol. And um, this oh, okay. is... Uh, ah, a see. moon, actually, of this planet. Cool. Um, let's see. So that was just a planet that looked like Saturn. Um, mm. Yes, just a ring, ring into planet. Okay. And so Speaking now of Saturn, in the United here. States, July 29th is celebrated as National Lasagna Day. <laughs> we missed it. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So wait, if I'm not mistaken. Were the astronauts on the moon the first time? Like, I thought it was like July 26th. Just wondering if they would have celebrated Lasagna Day while they were oh. on the moon. Anniversary. <gasps> Lasagna space is real. <laughs> July 20th. So I'm okay. Just directly after How the show, long so uh, like did astronauts show. stay on the moon? Um, 21 hours, 36. They missed it. Oh, they yeah. missed Lasagna Day. In well, they got space. back in time for it. They probably wouldn't have enjoyed Lasagna Man. on the moon. They really. Ooh, bug. Didn't so, so here I'm like scan you know I can scan stuff or um well I'm not gonna laser that That'll be, whoa um you know information cactus how's uh how's the space life in this game uh it's definitely like splife created it's not like No Man's Sky's mm. procedurally generated so you get some like cool looking aliens intentionally cool. designed like this guy here <laughs> oh god. Uh oh. It seems. Vasco will help me. Well. Yeah, kill him. Ah! Oh. And this oh, is the this game is a where. Very low gravity planet. Check you're... this out. Check this out. Boing! Oh, yes! That's awesome. That's awesome. We're on a movie God, now. it's my dream. I love Big Jump! <laughs> and I, I, like, I'm really annoyed I don't have a jetpack yet in my own game, but, like, I want a jetpack so bad in this game. Yeah, yeah. You know what would be so fun? If a game like Fauna, but with like fictional animals, like like this that little creature or not little but decent mm. sized creature you just killed, I just have to guess. That'd be so fun. Yeah, you. I mean, you could do that with Fauna. You could just print your own cards and yeah. start adding them in. <laughs> yeah. This is the tiny elephant. Um, Tina is referring to uh, an episode of our board game uh, YouTube Let's Play series uh, where we played a game where we have to guess aspects mm. of animals. It's on YouTube. Dot com slash polygon. Like guess guess their um, weight, weight, height, uh, tail length if they have one, um, and then Where location, which I feel yeah. like that would be harder with fictional. Yeah, we'd have to put that right out. <laughs> Animals. Like I don't know how that would work. Uh, so when you if you're jumping in low grav, do you have to be careful not to jump too high because coming down could still you, could you jump high enough to hurt yourself when you come back down? I haven't or yet. would you fall more slowly? I haven't yet, but I think there's a, le a way to level up that makes you better. Yeah. At falling. Okay. Um I think athletics. I love her. So Rainy Game said, me as an astronaut mumbling wee to myself <laughs> after every jump. Yeah. That's so funny. Um, if you turn on the sensor mode, you can see everything in the environment. You oh, could, like, that's pick really up. nice. Um, so this is a game that I initially was like, oh, I got to pick up anything that's worth a good value. <clears throat> and then everything in the environment, for the most part, pales in comparison to the value of just weapons you pick mm. off of people. Okay. So I quickly learned, not really worth going through the environment. 
the thing is, is because stuff looks so small and nondescript sometimes, you do have to still be like, this looks like a room with loot. Mm. Uh, so you still want to be on the lookout a little bit, but the best stuff is going to be in chests um, okay. that, are, that after a while you kind of are like, oh, it's got little lights on it. That's a thing that has stuff in it that is actually valuable to me. Um, beyond just junk everywhere. But I mean, it's a, you know, physics-y game like Bethesda. There's stuff in the environment that you can push around. You can <laughs> grab corpses and move them around. It's still that, which is different from No Man's mm -hmm. Sky. Okay. Oh, oh. Um, your inventory is like, you know, this kind of inventory with just like a bunch of stuff and categories, RPG style, like upgrades and armor, which you kind of have in No Man's Sky, but it's, it's still a different beast. Double, Double Forte said, love a bunch of junk that insists it's not worth looking at, <laughs> which segues perfectly into a spice act. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to say this one in the form of a question. Scientists estimate there are, oh, <laughs> scientists estimate there are how many pieces of space junk in space today? So guess a number. Ooh, uh, 25 million. 250,000. Quarter million. Two. Okay, okay, we got some guesses, we got some guesses. Well, he blew it up. We got some guesses. Oh. Nicholas just called the moon space junk. Great, okay. How dare you. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, okay, so we got some guesses. I will say it now. It is 500,000. Oh, oh. Cool. So I think Clayton was the closest. Uh, our, our space expert was the closest. Proceeding fishing. No, oh, wait, when yeah. they when they no, was that yeah. tracked space yeah, junk. Um. Versus just the it's, estimate. It's of an how many estimate. Pieces. Okay. Yeah. So what is there's... space junk? Um, like fragments from rockets and satellites. Oh, it's our like shit. The construction materials when building stuff like that in space or whatever. The Great Pacific garbage patch of space. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, briefly, Portland, Fontana, and. Kamikaze, we, uh, Ooh, we so said this, yeah. that you would fall more slowly, and the force coming up should be or coming down should be the same as going up. So you wouldn't hurt yourself if you jumped really far from a standstill in space. Mm. So this is um, oh, here's like a thing that's got stuff in it worth taking. Nice. Um, it's just food. Uh, but this so this is uh, the digipick, which is the lock pick in this game. So again, this is something you would want to look out for. It's often. It's not often you'll see it lying around as commonly you'd find it in, on people or in chests, cool. but you use it to unlock things. Hey. Um, so <gasps> mini game? Yeah, you got a mini game. Ooh. So this is the lock picking mini game, and um, I can do this. Hello. One quick. So you've got digit picks, slots pit with pins that fit in the slots. You got to sort of think about which ones would go where, but this is a very easy one where they basically can only go in one spot. Um, but I'll probably encounter a harder one. I got some money. Cool. So, um, Jay Sharppoint um, noted that NASA actually said that there's one big piece of space junk out there. Um, and then they said, it's your mom. And then they yelled, burn into the mic. <laughs> wow, that's honestly so immature of NASA. Yeah. I'm really yeah. disappointed that they Not did that. Cool I was NASA. so Not supportive cool. of that organization. Yeah. Um, obviously a big part of American history, but, you know, maybe time to reevaluate. You know? I found yeah. a chunk. Oh, you found a chunk? Yeah. Oh, wow! We love chunks. We love chunk eye. Food, uh, aid. Chunk, chunk. I thought you were saying chunk, chunk eye like it's hawk a, eye. It's a canoe, <laughs> canoe double double. Oh, Look at that. two sugars, two creams, too good? Nice. I'm so saying, there's chunks. Chunks. I'm saying chunk eye like um, Ooh, chocolate. I mean, what is it? Just like octopi? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like that eye. <gasps> I ate it. You ate the chunk. I meant to look at it <gasps> Whoa, closer. Whoa, steak. steak. So this is the thing. I could totally Whoa. believe you find something that's just like lasagna in this game. Like I would not oh, yeah. put it past them. I just want to shout out the artist who I hope had a really good time <laughs> designing like little packaged space foods. That sounds like I would be. Do you know how thrilled I would be <laughs> Great if job. someone yeah. said, all right, go design some like food that you would find 500 years into the future in space. Oh my God, make some branding for me. Just a little Thank sealed you. bag that says steak. Yes. Uh, oh, those guys, oh. sorry. I got spooked. Ow. Oh, no. You know what? I feel like they would have astronaut ice cream. Um, I don't know if it's in this game, but like, I feel like at this point in time, like 200 years from now, 
like they would find a way to have like ice cream in well, space. No, so but that's they do today. Dots. They do today. Oh. Uh, this they is do a, this today? is like a thing. They just what? give them pints of ice cream. It's fine to eat that on the space station. Oh, that's oh. so cool. It's not they like they don't, they don't they even have, have a special there? astronaut ice cream. I don't even because I thought that that's what Dippin' Dots were. I thought that that was space ice cream. Dippin Dots just requires a lot of like like literally liquid nitrogen or something to keep it cool. Like if you oh. use special, I, did I fall for the freezers. branding? Yes. It's oh. also the ice Pat's cream. Inexplicably furious. It's that the I branding is for also it. the ice cream of the future, not of astronauts. Okay, <laughs> well. <laughs> Dippin Dots are great. Sorry. Though. I really enjoy Dippin Dots. This stream is not sponsored by uh, Dippin Dots, but it is sponsored by GameStop. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So, go buy your dipping Dots at GameStop. <laughs> well, <laughs> so what is astronaut ice cream? Branding. They made it up to sell at science museums. I think maybe astronaut the Astronaut ice very... cream is just some stuff that they made up to like sell at museums. Did they stuff. not use really? it in some of the very first oh. ones? And then they're like, this is, huh. we can just take a regular ice cream or something. Let me check. But I, I feel love... like. I I'm imagining that they were very concerned and wanted to make sure the astronauts had ice cream, but weren't sure that regular mm -hmm. ice cream could go up there mm -hmm. and devoted time to developing special ice cream just in case. Just in case. Just then, in case. I think, uh, like, by the time it was ever sold in museums, it was no longer being used as astronaut ice cream. Wow. Wow. They were just able to take up a pint. Because, you know, each one of them gets, like, a tiny bit of their own cargo to bring up. Wow. Or sometimes oh, NASA and, gives and them, like, here's all your cream. regular food for most days, but we're going to give you, like, one steak dinner. We're going to give you one yeah. night of ice cream. Well, like. I'm really sorry for spreading misinformation oh. about ice cream. Welcome to Chunks! Please choose your chunk. It sounds like a uh, space school when it's like, oh, pizza party night. <laughs> yeah. Ice cream night. Yeah. I and really... they have, like, little paper plates. <laughs> I miss having pizza parties. Yeah. Yeah. I should pay attention. There's nothing stopping us from... That's true. Having a beats party? So Maybe we should. There's the staircase. Traditional ice cream. Do you want me to read this? Sure. Give everyone this is space fact. Space use. Freeze-dried foods were initially developed for the Mercury missions. Despite use of images of spacewalking astronauts in spacesuits on product packaging, freeze-dried ice cream was not included on any mission in which spacesuits were used. The only evidence for freeze-dried ice cream ever having flown in space is the menu for the Apollo 7 mission on which it is listed for one of the meals. However, when the only surviving member of Apollo 7 was asked, he did not remember it being served on the flight. Um, according to one NASA food scientist, although freeze-dried ice cream was developed on request, it quote-unquote, it wasn't that popular. <laughs> Astronaut Mike Massimino expressed dislike of freeze-dried ice cream, calling it quote-unquote, disgusting, and oh. quote-unquote, more closely related to a building material oh. than a food. <laughs> wow, that is a diss. That is a diss. I've been <laughs> publicly wow. shamed online. <laughs> for spreading misinformation about ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks everyone for hearing me out. I formally apologize to the astronauts. <laughs> oh, J Sharp Point oh, asked, using... do we know who Clayton is fighting? Or, <laughs> that'd uh, be funny if it's just like random. We, we don't know who we're shooting. We're just shooting things. <laughs> this is still the Crimson people. Okay, um, Crimson people. The the pirates, they were. Uh, pirates. So I went into space and they're like, oh, it turns out they're all in this one mining colony on a moon we should go get rid of them so mm -hmm. they don't keep hurting the people in the mine base before mm -hmm. we leave okay. um, some weapon. Oh, actually, I'm, gonna make some. Oh, I'm getting word from uh the ren fair in chat that the ice cream community has forgiven me so <laughs> oh wow that's they communicate quickly they really disseminated word of your yeah. uh, your crimes. They they Very were quickly, scrambling, and, and yeah. then they and then they quickly came to a consen consensus of forgiveness. <laughs> a big alarm went off in ice cream headquarters. Everyone was running around. There yeah. were papers flying. People screaming as they convened board meetings. <laughs> oh, that's a thing. That is a thing. I don't like that. <laughs> They should get that looked at. That's got to be a problem. I mean, when there, where there's one, there's more. I don't know why. Looking at that thing made me think of, like, brain-eating amoeba or fungi or something yeah. like that. Like, I don't know. I've been seeing that online recently. You just read about that lady? About how, like, um, I don't know about a specific lady, but um, just how, like, if you go into still water, 
there might be like a brain eating amoeba that like uh s swims up your nose and um just that it just right eats away. your brain I've got like big that. news for people who are worried about uh, amoeba swimming into their eyeballs. Um, doctor in Australia found a three-inch live parasitic worm in a woman's brain during surgery. <laughs> Things we don't have to say on stream. <laughs> and now we'll we stop. will anyway. She's fine. <laughs> She's Could fine. I fuck this up She's again. Fine. But listen. <laughs> wow, I'm doing this so badly. <laughs> if you find yourself depressed and forgetful. Maybe there's just a big worm no, in your brain. Yeah, now so many people on TikTok would start self-diagnosing no. themselves with worm brain. <laughs> they would be like, I've got I'm, literal brain worms. I'm depressed <laughs> and I'm forgetful. I have a worm in my brain. <laughs> Thanks, Rikering, for the up. subscription. Okay, so yeah. It's got to be the two in the tube. So this is easy enough. <laughs> I think I, I, I messed up that lock so badly that it redid the lock as a much easier one. Wow, they were like, ooh, you. But I was <laughs> I was dealing with other, with thoughts and. <laughs> yeah, you were dealing with thoughts. Yeah, my brain was elsewhere. Are you dealing with, with thoughts? A with a parasite. <laughs> you might um, have a worm in your brain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Angel Beat Flight, uh, for the right. subscription. A oh, worm. Leaving. Yeah. Always something to be worried about. The, che the best chests, I think, are these ones that are like a octagon thing. Or a big oh yeah, I dice. love that. Some health packs. The health packs. Are you know, I'd be rolling that. No, I'm not talking to you, Vasco. You're just walking on top of my. Oh, health Ryan pack. Center. We're oh yeah, oh, Pat just answered it. Yep. Till about 2 p.m. ET. Can yeah, I pretty normal stream length time. Vasco, but you're on really my health time. pack. Can you move. Yeah, Vasco. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yay! Now we're healthy again. Not actually, I need to take that health back. <clears throat> oh yeah, this part, okay. <laughs> you gotta be Epic. Me. Hey. The Frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? Let's be, I'm orange on Arbuckle, so I'm gonna be intimidating. <laughs> oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears it's about the Frontier. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many places. Vasco. Rooms, but the only thing. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. Where th Can I persuade you, though? You're not talking us out of. You're Damn, not. I feel you're not it gonna. Persuading. But wait. Oh, yeah. Persuading, you, you get a couple chances to, like, think about the best thing to say to that person. Oh, okay. But some of them are harder mm. um, to, to succeed with. I can't believe rational poetry that there's a tick that makes you allergic to meat. That's what? what? Really cruel. Crazy. Can't be right. See, we don't even need to go to space. Like the Starting worst things think. in this universe exist on our own planet, including us. And they're called the human being. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the human being. Oh, I actually persuaded him. Hey! Oh, nice. oh, okay, I messed up in my game. I'm like, you can go on the ship and look, and he's like, that's a trap. I'm killing you. Oh, huh. But this time I'm just like, I'll trade your ships if you like it so much. And I didn't even have to upgrade my persuasion. Nice. But what if I'm a traitor? What if John Arbuckle is a bad man? Jeez, oh my god. Pumpkin peas. <laughs> that was really funny. Alright. This sudden battle calls for another lasagna fact. Yes. As with most other types of pasta, the Italian word is a the Italian word lasagna is a plural form. Lasagna meaning more than one sheet. Oh wait, lasagne? Am I misreading this? Wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. Just go for it. <laughs> just <laughs> la, la, lasagna meaning more than one sheet of lasagna is that wait lasagna lasagna with an e what yes is that? That, okay lasagna how do you say I, that I, I, ooh, I think it'd be okay ooh i think it'd be lasagna Okay. okay, wait, don't listen to me. <laughs> don't listen to me. <laughs> so if you put if you put an E at the end, Gaste. it's more I than... think it'd be lasagna. 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 I'm thinking about other plurals like Lasa cats. Okay, lasagna, meaning more than one sheet of lasagna. Great. Yeah. Lasagna. Yeah. So 
an interesting yeah. thing about this game's combat that I kind of like is that, okay, you're a space game, obviously, so oxygen is something you have to think about. Um, <laughs> sprinting takes up oxygen, um, which kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. But if you do the, this, like, targeted aim um, with... And you have a... I don't have a gun with a visor on it right now. But you can do the thing where you hold your breath yeah. to steady your aim in... Uh, looking down the sights, looking down a scope mode, um, which is kind of cool because then you're just using the same system as you are for like, you know, how good is your helmet? You can have helmets that boost your oxygen, and that also means you're boosting your stealth, you're sprinting, you're boosting your ability to um, aim down sights. Uh, so it's it's a neat system, and I'm hoping there's like more to it. But uh... oh, you just burst into flame. I mean, that happens. Fuck, that happens to astronauts, and there's a horrible, horrifying plot point in um, For All Mankind where someone... It's a Cold War metaphor or show and they bring guns to the moon. Um, and when an astronaut gets shot, their, uh, their suits are full of oxygen. So it just ignites inside the suit. Oh. And that is something that they are constantly af they're afraid of in just like astronauts. Like, you don't want to start a fire in a suit. It is the worst thing because there's nothing you can do about it. Um, and the show demonstrates that fairly graphically. It's 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 nightmarish, but it's uh, like a, a wow. constant worry in space is the high oxygen environment. I actually have a space fact about what happens. Like like uh, in, in speaking of like suits breaking, um, and they're saying what would happen. I guess if you just had not not a fire, but um, if you had like a tear in your spacesuit or whatever. Uh. It says after around ten seconds you would lose consciousness. Um, well, that's and, good. Yeah, <laughs> that is good, that is good. That's very reassuring. The lower pressure of the vacuum would cause your blood to boil, uh, along with other body fluids, like the moisture on your tongue, for example. But this boiling alone would not be fatal due to the pressure maintained by our blood vessels themselves. Gas bubbles would form in your bodily fluids, causing your body to swell up and bloat. The low humidity of space would cause you to cool down rapidly and your eyes may freeze over. Within one to two minutes, the lack of oxygen would be deadly. Not great. And the stress of the situation may make these symptoms worse and you would become oxygen deprived more quickly. Um, Is that just on like a low pressure planet or is that in the vacuum itself because uh, i was under the impression the that that was space. they just said the effects of being exposed to space so i imagine like if you had like a if, if, if you had like a tear in trouble. your suit and it like i always assumed it would be something. instant like the the deep like imploding under the ocean that's but... that's what they said they said although films such as total recall show instant explosions and rapidly total recall is suits, extremely goofy in its depiction of being yeah they said the effects of being exposed to space are slightly less dramatic yeah they are and slightly uh longer well that fucking sucks well then there are things that show uh, a more accurate slightly um there have been some shows that have people being in vacuum for about like a minute yeah and I think in some cases that involves taking a, like, essentially a, 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 um... What's the thing sometimes you take and it, like, saves you from a heart attack or, like, gives you a jolt? Defibrillator? No, not... It's uh, like a medicine. Oh, um... Oh. Adrenaline. I think they take... They effectively take something like adrenaline, but um, they are able to, like, jump from one spaceship to another. And I think some scientists have pointed out, like, yes, that is theoretically possible, very difficult, and you'd have... You'd have a lot of, like health problems being in the vacuum place to do a lot of mess up stuff to your skin and eyes um and you really need to exhale right before you're exposed to vacuum pro tip because if you don't the the air could jet out of your lungs so fast it damages them oh yeah yeah mm. yeah uh we need a lasagna fact oh yeah yeah someone someone in chat was like can we go back to talking about lasagna yeah. <laughs> the horrors of space we'll put uh, okay. the pin in that um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, time to hyperdrive. This one is, ooh, oh, this one is gonna make me hungry, so I'm gonna talk about a different one. <laughs> um, I mean, all of them make me hungry, but the largest lasagna, lasagna, is ten thousand seven hundred twenty-five pounds, and was wow. created by I don't know how to pronounce this, but Magillo, Magillo, Italian word restaurant and macro supermarket, both Poland, 
on June 20th, 2012. Um, it was made during the 2012 UEFA European Football Championship in Poland wow. and was made in the city where the national Italian team was staying and around 5,000 people attended the making of the lasagna. Amazing. Did they all get to eat it? I don't know. I, I hope, hope so. so. This I is so. really... Yeah. I, I feel so unsatisfied not knowing how that story ends. Wow, a sun? Whoa! Oh, yeah, I guess I can show you. A the, solar system? The solar system. A solar system. So this is the planet system. I'm at, um, which has a big uh, colony on it called New Atlantis. Love it. Um, but Great I can stuff. Zoom out to this solar system. Got a couple other planets in it. Hell yeah. Which have moons. And I love that. Further to the oh, yeah. map of the settled. I love a solar system. I think Woo! all systems should be <laughs> solared. Uh, That's right. Yeah. I'm pro solar energy. Uh, okay, so I have to click New Atlantis. There we go. Uh. <laughs> Wait, why isn't it? Mm. I've got some questions for space pedants in chat, but um, Centoria says, see, this is why humanity is amazing. We can do awful things sometimes, but also sometimes we get together and just make a big ass lasagna for the F of it. And that's so true. Oh, this is a good question. Okay, but what happens to my leftover lasagna in space? Does lasagna oh, just freeze once in space? I think it would just... Oh, I'm out of the mic. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> no. Sorry, I was drinking water. Um, good, good question. What happens to my leftover lasagna in space? Does it just freeze over in space? Because there's no, like... I think it would retain its shape and just kind of continually float and gradually freeze, right? If, if our eyeballs freeze, do then... The, do the liquids in the lasagna start to boil as well, though? No. Or would they? No. We don't know. We need to put lasagna in space. Why are astronauts not working on this right now? Why are they not, like, doing the proper research? So, um... <laughs> Angel Pete Flight said the lasagna will eventually hit and kill someone in space. <laughs> Wait, why? Let me get I'm going to, I have to set it aside. I, I have too many questions about space. Um, and tomorrow when I see my smart friend to watch Gran Turismo, I'm going to ask them. You're going to ask them? <laughs> yeah. So what would happen to lasagna if it was exposed to the elements of space? It would freeze because it's very cold. Yeah. But why do we boil? Because we have blood. It, it's, there, there's other but ways to boil. There's surely, other ways to boil. Surely there's moisture okay. in it's lasagna. It's a cold boil, right? Mm -hmm. It's a pressure. It's caused by Oh, pressure. a pressure boil. Oh, okay. Cool. So the lasagna... Unless it had enough. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. <laughs> Daddy Drowsy ASMR. I would be an astronaut if their job was to throw Italian food out the window and write down what they did. <laughs> we don't know what they're doing on the ISS. This could... The Russians? <laughs> Yeah, Italian space station. <laughs> the, the experiment. It's like, okay, first we're gonna try one spaghetti noodle, and then and then we're gonna control for two spaghetti noodles. I would love to see a boiled spaghetti, a single boiled spaghetti, a spaghetti, spaghetto, spaghetto, flying around. Like, would it be? Would it retain whatever shape it was thrown out the window in, or would it like? Wiggle? I don't know. <laughs> <Wiggle. laughs> no, spaghetti no, it would, it would hard, I think it would freeze space. and harden pretty quickly into a brittle. But you shatter in space. Yeah. Uh, Deb says, how long does it take to get al dente in space? <laughs> <laughs> and Aenea612 says, the, the lasagna was eaten. There were 10,000 portions. <laughs> wow. Wow. So everybody got uh, two portions if 5,000 people showed up. Mm hmm. Wow. I need to buy back one of my guns because I sold too many. That sounds great. That's in, that's exactly the amount of lasagna okay. so I this would is like to eat. The first planet you go to or the constellation uh, group that you're now a part of <laughs> uh, is. And I got to say. This is pretty. I Looks feel like futuristic. naming a big fancy colony city, New Atlantis, is a bit like naming your spaceship the new Titanic. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, but, you know, Atlantis has never really been like a success story. At least, welcome for us. to New Pompeii. Nothing will happen here. <laughs> New Pompeii, yeah. Did Atlant? 
Hmm. No, we're not getting into this. <laughs> if it existed, something bad happened to it. Okay, that's it's what we know. Wiped off the face of the earth, yeah. apparently. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, Tiny Soundwave. This is a special stream sponsored by GameStop. Um, that is 12 to 2, but still, I think our regular stream time is going to be 3 to 5 PT. Yeah. Um, Are you yeah, yeah. Today? Huh? No, I mean in general. Oh, exactly. In general. <laughs> yeah. This is not our new yeah, stream time. For, yeah. Surprise, Pat. <laughs> We're going to wrap this up and get right back online. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We... Uh, just wagging the chat just uh, said the they just showed up. They, they're asking if we start over again. Oh, yeah, okay, so let's, uh, yeah, thanks everyone for in. attending. Just Wag uh, just showed up. We're going to start the stream over so that we don't miss anything. Um, <laughs> sounds good. Bye, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, Darfield. Then friends. <laughs> Did you? We're, we're ready, ready to, to party. Everybody, hey everybody, welcome to Polygon's Thursday stream. Uh, this stream is brought to you by GameStop. Starfield launches on September 6th, and fans can get an additional $50 of trading credit when they trade in any console towards yeah. an Xbox Series X next week in stores. That's September 3rd through September mm -hmm. 16th. So this is the perfect time to upgrade to an Xbox Series X. Out with the old! And what, In with the new. What uh, game are we playing today? What game are we playing? Uh, this is Garfield and Friends uh, from Berthorsda. Starfield. Starfield. Um, so Starfield. let's, yeah. <laughs> Some, uh, can we have a song again, really? <laughs> a song, intro song. Can we make a music video by like flying through space and playing that song? Huh? <laughs> The song that you made. Can can I tell? I don't know if I've said this embarrassing uh, pasta story to you guys before. I know I've told it to other people, but um. Oh, I don't know if I should wait till the end of this dialogue. She's talking. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. She might have important things to say. She got a cool jacket. Yeah. Please answer my question. There are some pirates, you know. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He looks like a politician. The artifact. That's really oh, rude, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that? he is, but he looks like a politician. <laughs> Can't explain it. Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? I went to the lasagna space. Lasagna, lasagna space. Start. We've Star theorized about the lasagna, lasagna space, space for decades. <laughs> Scientists suspected. Okay. Long ago. Uh, side note, I was just closed out the tab that said uh, Lemon Moon as a Google search, and I just like, I love and hate nice sometimes phrase. the things that I am Googling for work. Like the other day for a TikTok, I was Googling Mr. Peanut Butter shirtless, <gasps> <laughs> and I was at a public cafe. I was just like, okay, this is fine. We've all been there. Oh, <laughs> Were you so at the dog times. cafe? Yes, actually. Tina! Which, oh, that's really questionable. That's really questionable. <laughs> no! Anyways, speaking of which, everyone, Tina's TikTok is really good. The one that required Mr. Peanut, but peanut Butter. I really can't talk today. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's yeah, definitely going to hit a mill. It's almost at a mill. Let's, let's, Nine, all ten. let's all collectively get it to a mill. <gasps> Jiggling. But, um, and now they're floating. My, my embarrassing... Oh, what the, what's happening here? They're floating. More floating stuff? Yeah, they are. It turned out, turned out they already had a bunch of those weird things. Oh. Um, Goofy. Oh, yeah. Um, but my embarrassing pasta story is that one time I was at an Italian restaurant. And I was like... <laughs> I was like... <laughs> 
<laughs> Can I get the fettuccine Alfredo? It's like my favorite dish. And, but I was like, but what type of noodle does it come with? No. And they were like, fettuccine. And I was like, yeah, I want the fettuccine Alfredo. But I'm wondering, like, what type of noodle you guys serve it with here? Oh. And they were like, fettuccine. And, it, and I was still confused. And then one of my friends was like, fettuccine is the noodle. Oh. It, it's long. And, it, and they were like explaining the noodle to me. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, no. Thank you. They could have said that the second time. Yeah. <laughs> they must, it must, that must happen more than once. Because I was like, I don't know why, in my head, I was like, I, I was like, I really want like the fettuccine Alfredo. Like, I love the creamy sauce, but I want a long noodle. I hope they don't serve it with like a short noodle. Oh, I don't no. want a short noodle tonight. <laughs> Would that be like penne Alfredo? Does I that don't know. exist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but now I know. Now I know. Wow. Well, now she's yeah. my pal and she gave me some money. You should read this uh, space fact from Morb Ponder. It is fun. Oh, oh, space fact from Morb. Ooh, fun space slash pasta fact. We have a crossover? Yes. There's a real theory about the matter in neutron stars called topological pasta. Oh, yeah. In which the hypercondensed matter becomes mess of subatomic particles that variably takes the forms of various pasta shapes. Gnocchi, spaghetti lasagna etc yeah wow. shit gets real weird inside a neutron star that's crazy pasta in a neutron star Nuclear pasta. Wow. <laughs> i don't need to know anything let's go i've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects okay hmm. oh man a volunteer force that helps i do call along pasta noodles sometimes it's like a long, they are. It's a long noodle, right? <laughs> Aren't they noodles? It's a long, flat noodle, right? Aren't all noodles noodles? I mean, pasta is noodles. Is it like squares? What is noodles? Is it, is it like squares and rectangles where um, some pasta can be noodles, um, but not all pasta are noodles, but all noodles are pasta? I think they're all yeah. noodles. All, so noodles are a type noodle, of food. All noodles <laughs> are pasta, but not all pasta is noodles. This is <laughs> this is a ridiculous stream. Noodles are a type of food made from unleavened dough, which is either rolled flat and cut, stretched, or extruded into long strips or strings. Okay, you're right. Rice noodles are not pasta. Right. That's true. But Italian okay. just means... Wait, I mean, <laughs> maybe the real noodles are the friends we made along the way. <laughs> so noodle comes from the German word noodle, but spelled N-U-D-E-L, which is really good to me. Um, yum. Oh, you're my companion now. What is pasta? So this is a game think... also with companions. Imagine we uh, do noodle cart. I don't know. Pat. Yeah, it's just a Mario Kart, but with noodles. Pat. Yeah. Can I mute my mic and Noodle stuff cart. something into my mouth super quick? I'm feeling faint. Oh, oh no! I have some popcorn and fruit snacks. Uh, me. That's. Oh, I'll take a fruit snack, but I got a yeah. little thing to eat real quick. Oh okay. Uh -huh. Um, I will read. Okay, okay. Is all pasta noodles? Is what I'm gonna Google. Okay. Oh no! What you hate to see when you fact check something online is uh, most people believe, as a phrase, noodles and pasta are usually words used interchangeably, as most people believe they are the same thing. While both are made from a type of dough, they can widely differ. So what the fuck is the difference between noodles and... I think oh, you're right. I think it's a rectangle square thing. Just Wag says pasta literally means dough, but like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Remember to take care of your Clayton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the feed and caring for Clayton's. Fruit snack? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Fruit snack, Simone? Yes, please. Snack it up. Oh, God. Thank you so much. We're not used to, you know, a 12 to 2 stream, so I think, like, none of us really... Thought to eat lunch beforehand? Ate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Um... What do we need? 
we need to talk to her assets. Wow. In the volunteer military force that this um, UC government sort of thing, people, uh, I, I don't know. I don't like the sounds of it when they're just like, yeah, you're a captain. Well, now you're in our military. Oh. Hmm. Anyone can join. Um, but that's one of the factions you can join. And you'll see this guy tries to give me the hard sell. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped from that high. I'm, I'm fine. Oh, wait. I'm going to eat a snack in the game while I eat Ooh. a snack in real life. Ooh. So what do we got here? I think I bought another chunk. Pat, can you let me know if I'm too crinkly or mouth soundy? I'm going to eat uh, both of these. Thank you. Okay, bet. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. There are, according to D'Agostino's... Uh, actual like culinary differences between noodles and pasta and it's about like the flour and the process of making them um a noodle is made from flour milled with common wheat and can sometimes contain egg and it's made with a sheeting process pasta is created by an extrusion process and semolina flour and they also capitalize the word noodles in the middle of a sentence which tickles me Wow. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying. And there is, and they repeat twice. There's a limitless amount of kinds of noodles. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Soul, Mars, Neptune. Go into the old neighborhood now. These Martians. Gotta find out what happened. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornaments he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. A scientific specific discovery being used as an ornament. The indignity. Hey, Vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he In my own game, I'm playing as this um she's she's like a grandma, she has gray hair. Um and I found the way to give wrinkles. Because for some reason, I always, yeah. if I can, the character creator, I like to make an old character. Heck yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's If you can, why interesting not? Interesting, because most games don't let you play as an old character. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, she's a xenobiologist, is her story. Ooh. So she's oh. like real hype about all the like, is it alien intelligence stuff in this game? Uh, Card Bros, I don't know that we have an answer for this since I think you've been playing on controller, but they said, how does this game play on just keyboard and mouse? I actually have not tried. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. yeah. Just stuck to controller. It just felt yeah. like it worked that way well. So um, let's see. I, yeah, I don't Anything for Sarah. need to talk to you yeah, anymore. Bro. I want to go. Serious about that recruitment offer. Yeah, I know you are. I don't want to join. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are, and that's the problem. <laughs> what is going on? Wow, I really want pasta now. Yeah. This has been a really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A day of learning and personal growth for me. Mm, let's get on all that pasta fact. Give me, give me a good of lasagna. Course a lasagna fact. The most expensive lasagna in the world is served in Las Vegas in Portofino at oh. the Mirage. Woo! It is the diamond and gold lasagna for $100 a slice. The lasagna is made of the layers of pasta stuffed with porcini mushrooms, iberico ham, and prosciutto di parma, as well as 24-month-aged parmigiano reggiano, huh. buffalo mozzarella, and Kobe bolognese spread between Ugh. each layer. I feel like I did You're good. You're killing me! I feel yeah. like I did good with pronouncing those words. Um, a, oh, I spoke too soon. A, a, a foie fredo? Foie fredo? I'll put this word in chat. I don't know how to say it. Foie fredo. Okay. A foie fredo sauce, an alfredo sauce infused with foie gras. Foie gras? Foie gras? Gra. Foie gras. Foie gras. <laughs> Tops the dish. On top, white diamond truffles, shaved table side, and for kicks and giggles, 23 karat gold flakes. Now that's kind of why? why not 24 karat, huh? Could that Why possibly be good? Why it can't, can't you be get good. the last carrot? Mm. That's just foifredo is a terrible word. Ah. <laughs> uh. Wow. Wow. The world we live in. 
Oh, yeah. and it's, oh, scan. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I like lasagna that much to get an $100 slice of lasagna. No. But maybe, like, if I was, like, I don't know, a millionaire, I would just say, sure, why not? Just for funsies. You know, like, if I'm there. But... Yeah, you'd fly to Vegas on your private jet, pop yeah, in. Yeah, you know. <laughs> drop a cool thousand dollar bill yeah yeah like are you here Ask to gamble for change no say like, keep the change yeah <laughs> i'm i'm here for pasta I'm here for pasta wow yeah nope. the, the last time i made lasagna i had it in my freezer for so long that i i have not actually eaten lasagna since it's been years oh years yeah i have lasagna all the time there's this one frozen i don't know what brand but it's like a frozen lasagna meal put Whoa. it in the microwave for like three yeah. or four minutes it's good a lot of people were really concerned uh that you may not know how to cook after watching your mario video yeah i saw that oh my gosh <laughs> see the thing is the thing is because <laughs> everyone was like you know you can just buy like the like the spaghetti noodles and put it in a pot like every store has that like why are you looking for frozen spaghetti meals <laughs> yeah I was, I was like if i could say it, i would just be like well simply put i do not cook <laughs> i do not even put an egg on the stove <laughs> There were a lot of people who were like, I didn't even know that they made frozen yeah, spaghetti and yeah. I'm upset. They were like, this is painful. <laughs> but now you know, now you're educated. Uh, yeah. Mars has got a pretty good hops on it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is good. Oh, wait, this is such a great question, Grizzly Tron. Does Mario even know how to cook? We don't know. We don't Do know. we know? I don't think we know. Anyone chat, let me know if you've seen Mario cook. I don't know. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Someone said Mario cooks. Hmm. Well, we got a oh. lot of disagreement in chat. He cooked in Odyssey, oh. says Daniel 114. Oh, he made no, toast. No, Dan Lai 114. Chef Mario on oh, overcooked. That is okay. right. Yeah, he did a lot of cooking there. Oh. Okay. So this is what it's like on Mars. Okay. Okay. This is what it's like. I love it. Are we going to see Elon Musk here? Definitely not. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed it. Sorry. It was up Vending here. machine. A bar. There's a bar, yeah, a bar on, on Mars. Mars? That's what I'm here for. Do they call it the Mars bar? I don't think so. Oh, that was Well, the that's of really... F the Mar bar. It is broken, broken spear. spear. Broken okay, spear. that's kind of intense. I don't, I don't get it. Why oh, broken spear? It's so random. I imagine it's because he's the god of war. <laughs> I know Mar Mars and Bar, you know, kind of rhyme, but like, what if like that was how you named everything on Mars? Like Mars Mars Salon, Mars Grocery Store. Yeah, <laughs> this is my. Like, we have to go to the Mars Grocery Store to buy some Mars <laughs> celery for our Mars. Yeah. Peanut butter and raisin sticks. What? <laughs> he loves celery. Nothing more I love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially. Are we Martians? Shit. I, I oh Martian. no, we're helping. Guy, Martian. Yeah, we're we're talking to this bartender because he might he know time. have a lead on where this person we're looking for was patrolling in the soul system. I think one of the things I hate about the idea of like us actually living on Mars and like developing there is the idea that there's probably gonna be like a building street or neighborhood called like Muskville or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling they, that it will never be. <laughs> um, so this was a little thing where I, th I don't know. I feel like this has been in one of their games before, but I my one of my dialogue options was actually just my companion talking for me. Oh, cool. And it was helpful because she's just like, cut the bull crap. We know you're just trying to get money out of us. Yeah. And negotiate them down a thousand credits. So if you have like, so that could potentially go well, depending on who you're talking to, or it could go. Poorly. Well, that wasn't even a negotiate, like an actual like persuade attempt. It was just like. She knows this person, yeah. maybe, or knows this. So you're this. like, I'll throw it to you rather than yeah. doing it myself. That's cool. Yeah. That's only one planet. <gasps> We've been to Mars. Now we're going to Venus? I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. <laughs> I got what I got. 
A Mongo says, 1,000 credits. Find and kill John Starbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I liked those yeah. plastic strips. Very realistic. I'm genu I genuinely... <laughs> I love running through those things. It reminds me of um, rubber fishing lures in hardware stores, which are also fun to touch. Let's go to Venus. Let's go to Venus. Wee. So if you are overburdened, this is a game like with inventory, you get Wee! Uh, Wee! carry stuff. Wee! Um, if you are overburdened, you you use your oxygen a lot faster, especially yeah. when you're sprinting. Oh, and you can get cool. so overburdened that you're just constantly losing oxygen, which is basically a, like you need to like mm. give some of this to your companion to carry. Or if you're near your spaceship, you can it can hold like five times as much as you can, so you can just store a lot there to sell the next time you're on a planet. Noise. Um, Sweet. I wonder if they did like it, if they looked at video or had people try running and jumping in low grav to like figure out what because i was thinking like would your arms come up like that and i think like yeah it might so that you wouldn't like overbalance or maybe like out hmm interesting yeah i do i do feel like especially the astronauts on the moon talked a lot about how like they did have to do a lot of balance because yeah. the spacesuit was such a big bulky heavy thing yeah that oh yeah, and when you're like jumping, maybe you would like tip over backwards, and, and you then you do a sick backflip. And it was very hard to get up <laughs> in those suits, so they did not want to fall over. Clayton, you know. it's a sponsored stream. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> Swagwagger says, did y'all see that review that complained you can't land on half the planets, in parentheses, the gas planets? Uh, wow! I, I didn't see that, but that is funny. And uh, yeah, I one of my space facts, you wouldn't be able to walk on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune because they have no solid surface. Would you be like crushed to a tiny little ball if you went into them? Eventually, you'd be pretty, you'd be compacted, yes. Cool. Um, yeah. I thought, I think some of them have technically solid cores, but again, there's no way to get oh, to that. Oh, sick. I feel like one of them okay. is supposed to have a huge diamond in its core. What would happen if we took the diamond? I don't know. <laughs> That might be another planet that's not in our solar system. But, um, oh. All right, time to head to Venus, which is, I guess, right next I've to always the star, said, like, so. you know, if I were to ever get engaged, I wouldn't want, you know, an Earth diamond, like, mined from South Africa or whatever. But I would, and in fact, only would accept uh, a diamond from the core of Neptune. Um, the whole thing. Not, j not a little piece. I want the whole, the whole <laughs> Chaos Emerald. Planet with diamond core. Well, so apparently this game has multiple religions, and that is a thing that much like factions, they want you to be like, you can choose one. I think you might do missions. And obviously here, like essentially a cult. Um, so this is a, a cool aspect um, of the fact that you're like powering your ship systems is if you depower mm -hmm. weapons and really just depower everything as much as you can, um, you become much harder to detect. Oh. Mm. So even though there's some dudes over there, I can sneak around this rock and get right up next to that satellite. Cool. <laughs> um. I, I have done some Googling. This comes from LiveScience.com, uh, which I can't verify right now, but I will say. They know what they're talking about. Distant hell planet with diamond core is the victim of a gravitational catastrophe. <laughs> oh. um, Poor thing. Scientists studying a distant quote unquote hell planet where clouds rain lava, the oceans are molten, and the core is filled with diamonds, ooh, have found ooh. that the nightmarish planet wasn't always so bad, but it became infernally hot after being yanked closer to its sun. Um, so, okay. th cool. there is a hell planet called <laughs> Full of Diamonds and Lava. I just hope that's like a category that NASA has, like, oh, uh, found another hell planet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hit aliens find Earth. Oh, this is a hell planet. <laughs> True. <laughs> Um, one space fact I found kind of cool yeah. that I didn't know was that not all planets form and stay around stars. 
and astronomers estimate that there could be more than 200 billion of them floating free and drifting through our galaxy. Mm. Wow. So just rogue uh, little planets drifting off by themselves um, that are thought to have been kicked out of their home systems. Um, while this is true for some, other planets may have formed completely independently of an accretion disk. Uh, <laughs> A YouTube channel, Kurtzigat, or Kurtzigat, something oh, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. They have a lot of videos that actually cover a lot of these topics. I think there's one mm. of rogue planets. There's one about what's inside neutron stars. Um, their space stuff is usually pretty, pretty great stuff. The loneliest, li- oh, the loneliest little planets. Okay, Sir Squanchy, that makes me think that we need to see like an animated short film about like a lonely planet. Maybe like finding Aww. another planet or something, Pixar, or like, or like an get, asteroid. Get or, I don't know. Does that exist? <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Being orbited by a, a small space projectile <laughs> or some junk. Yeah, definitely a Pixar yeah. short in the making. Animated but in complete darkness because it doesn't have a sun. That's so true. <laughs> I think there was the, the, that video goes into like, well, what if Earth got like shot off on its own? Yeah. Obviously, it would freeze pretty quickly, but it's like, it could be possible oh to gosh. survive, I think, at like the bottom of the oceans because of thermal vents. Oh. Um, and there's also, they've theorized, like, it wouldn't necessarily mean that rogue planets couldn't have life because there could be other ways they would have heat. But, yeah, yeah. Um, A dating sim where you romance lonely planets. I love oh that. Oh my god, yes. Such great ideas. Boom. Didn't even see. Damn. Yeah, it's well, beautiful Well, sa- it's a sad moment. You just found out that Earth has been abandoned for centuries. Aww. How is the... Wait, how wait, are you finding wait. the music? Oh, go on. Abandoned for centuries, and we're 200 years in the future. 300 so. years in the future. Oh, 300. So at least a couple centuries. Oh, okay. I think... I mean, don't actually, don't quote me on that. Got, it's, it's been long enough that people are like, oh, Earth? Yeah, that's... You know, it's been that way for a long time. In order time. to make this canon, I was about to say, like, we need to abandon it soon. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I am always saying this. Um, how do you like the soundtrack so far? Because we Pat was just mumbling quietly about how lovely this violin is. Uh, um, I, I and mean, it it's, is lovely. Yeah, they're definitely doing mm-hmm. their, like... It's, this is a grand sci-fi soundtrack that yeah. um, I feel like you could point to a lot of sci-fi movies in the last couple of decades that it's evocative of, but uh, it's it's good. It's cool. definitely high, high quality, um, placid stuff that you'll enjoy hearing a lot. <laughs> Space. Uh... Oh, Where did I go? Oh, I didn't go to the right place. Whoops. You oh, I went belly. to Earth. Oh. Yeah, that's what Earth looks like. Oh, Whoopsie, okay. that looks a little, uh, hmm. It's not like, she's not like I remember her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, let me see. Can I turn around and see Earth? Um, oh, she doesn't want, okay. There's a space okay. station. Moist. Earth needs some lotion. <laughs> That's all I need. We have enough lotion. That's how we fix climate change. Just moisturize Earth. Yes, because she needs a protective barrier, just like our skin. Yeah. If I spin around. Oh, it's far away. Right. Earth wouldn't be close. But uh, there's Earth over there. Definitely not the pale blue dot we love and know. Mm-hmm. Kind of a desert. Um, okay. Uh, Simfo has a question. Uh, how does the space flight feel? It looks kind of slow, but does that make everything feel big? Yeah, it feels good. I, you know, you're worried about that when, like, can you not turn enough to ch- face uh, and chase enemies? But you can slow down completely pretty quickly and then just do, like, a real quick turn mm. um, without moving forward and then blast it. And you got turbo. Whoa! Um, but this is also the first ship. So I'm assuming there'll be ships that are more maneuverable, ships that are more like pack mules and can carry a bunch. Cool. And, you could customize your ship and like really design it. I'm sure you've seen videos out there of 
what that looks like, but I've only touched the surface of that stuff. I think I immediately upgraded my generator or reactor so I'd have more power to play mm -hmm. with in my system. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, some great, great comments. Rikering, have you tried Windexing Earth? That's <laughs> also a solution. That is a good question. Um, great joke from Cool Hot Jock. Broke up with my planet. Now it's my exoplanet. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, and then Grumpier Goat. I don't quite understand, but I don't know why I'm amused. Lotion, ocean. Potato, potato. <laughs> oh, wait, I get it now. You're comparing that, uh, that like, oh, like, who cares if our ocean dries up? We can just lotion. lotion. It's yeah. the same thing. I see what it is now. <laughs> I was not connecting it, and I was just like, what, potato? And in fact, <laughs> lotion is French for the ocean. Really? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Don't joke with me like this. I'll believe you. <laughs> Oh god. Oh yeah yeah yeah. All right, so now she's going to help me. Uh Jeff Nels asks, "Have we talked about the gunplay yet? I love FPS games, but I'm absolute dog water at them." So a good single player FPS sounds perfect. Yes, and I actually I do. Oh my god, this guy. Hey, get up. Oh, she has oh, a laser oh. which is I think also setting him on fire. Oh. Um, and then you just walked right into it. Oh. Um oh, I think the gunplay is fun. Yeah. Um again, I I skipped Fallout 4, so I can't compare it to that, but it's definitely a lot better than what I remember of, like, Fallout 3 or what you would... the first-person arrow shooting in <laughs> Skyrim. Yeah. But, uh, and yeah, it's 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 literally the, like, a select button, or I guess the, like, little... I don't know what you call this button on the Xbox controller, but uh, that just is, like, switched between first-person, close, like, over-the-shoulder and third-person, so... Okay. When I'm not in combat, I like third-person, but in combat, mm -hmm. it feels good. Oh, cool. Um, since we're s slowly inching towards the end of our stream, I'm gonna share a quick succession <laughs> of space facts. Yeah! The highest mountain known to man is on an asteroid called Vesta. Ooh. Measuring a whopping 22 kilometers in height, it is three times as tall as Mount Everest. How big is the asteroid? Yeah. It's pretty freaking big. Um, if you could stand at the Martian equator, the temperature at your feet would be like a warm spring day, but at your head, it would be freezing cold. So we could crawl around on Mars and be fine. If you were walking in a ca yeah. constant it's squat the, on Mars. It's the atmosphere that's the biggest yeah. problem. <laughs> that's Not for me. That scientifically checks out. <laughs> I've got no problem with Mars atmosphere, and I want that to be on the record. I do not have a problem with it. We love Ooh, it. We've been fight. friends for a long time. We have ups and downs, but I have no problem with Mars atmosphere. So this is actually, there's um, a couple mercenaries down there and pirates over here. <laughs> so we're getting like in the crossfire. I love this. Simone would just hold her breath. That's what I'm saying. It's really that easy, guys. Like if you can't survive in space, it's just a skill issue. Um, this is also a cool fact. Yeah. Neptune's winds are the fastest in the solar system, reaching 2,575 kilometers per hour, which is 1,600 miles per hour. Um, and Neptune's giant spinning storms could swallow the whole Earth. Uh, God damn it. So that oh. means that we could see... Oh, kind of seems like you have a problem with yeah, skill bullets. Yeah. John, <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Can you repeat the question once I've said it? Yep. Uh, how does planets work when you land on a planet uh is it like first mass effect where it's just like a big grid that you can walk around like so, i should have passed you the mic the question yeah. from pat was how do planets work is it like mass effect where when you land on a planet it's like a big grid you can walk around so i actually have every time i've gone to a planet there's like a thing to do there so i've done that and i haven't gone like anywhere else <laughs> So I actually don't know how much exploring there is on a planet. And I know, I, I think I'm like, in my own game, I'm right at the cusp of where they're like, just go explore. Like, go look at planets and see if you find stuff. Mm. And I have a feeling those are going to be, like, environments. But, um, so yeah, I can't, I can't speak to that exactly. But it is pretty focused on, like, a planet has, like, two or three landing spots. So it's not No Man's Skies like you can land anywhere, and it's but it's not Mass Effect's like yeah here's the, like the one place on this planet. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I guess in some ways it's a com combination of some things. What do I do? Oh, I wanna I wanna equip grenades. 
Space is cool. Space. Literally. So now we're gonna not die. Yeah, I need to let these guys fight each other more. I mean, I think it's great that we've only died once in our. That is, thing. yeah, yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. We can have a little bit of death. As I a was, tree. I was being not observant of my health. Hmm. It's actually fairly easy to heal. But now you're in the game or something. Mm-hmm. Ah, ah, hey, Whoa. what? Oh, he just him. ran right past us. Ooh, did he it's have like a laser? He didn't even oh, exist. Laser. Yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna cook people like pasta. Yeah. Although the pistols are better, seemingly, at causing them to ignite. Oh. Um. Oh, that's a better milk uh, There we go. Uh, favorite. Bear. That gun favorite looks very blocky. Bear. Yeah. It's a big old block. Oh, the laser is definitely it's just like a big block. Yeah. You've got laser ammo, I guess, like batteries for it. Mm. It doesn't just have recharge or something. Oh. Actually, environmental explosives are great in this game. Oh, I wanted... Oh, I got them. Owie! I do need to heal. I, can I level up? I probably can. Okay. So this, okay, I did mention this and I wanted to show, explain what I meant. It feels like a combination between two Bethesda systems where you just have these perks you pick. Um, so I'm gonna pick, cause I just picked up a laser this thing. And now I have this picked perk um, and, or this skill or whatever. It itself then has a challenge where I just need to use lasers to kill people. And then that allows me to upgrade it further. So you have to like you both have to do the thing like in Skyrim or, or the those games like doing the thing kind of allows you to upgrade it more, but it is like an RPG in the sense you actually do like spend a skill point in this thing, every once in a while. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> is there friendly fire? Can you accidentally kill your uh, companion? I don't know. I know explosives have hurt her. I oh. Think. Stuff can your stuff. Oh, another question. How different do guns feel? Like, do laser weapons feel just like standard weapons, but like glowier? Uh, there, there does seem to be a feel to them that's different. Um, hmm. And I, I feel like I'm also just starting to find some like pretty different weapons. It does seem like there's quite a few weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay. A laser is just an overly aggressive flashlight. Uh, That's so funny. Oh, um, first time chatter. Is the game addictive to play, like Skyrim, where I crave to explore more? Um. So I again have only just started, and I will say that be prepared for the first two to three hours to be like. They're still bringing you on board. Mm. They're not letting you do everything you want to do. Mm -hmm. And everything is very s a simple version of what you're going to be doing throughout the game. But it's very promising. And I'm about like six or seven hours in. And I did start to feel myself just being like, oh, I could play a lot of this. Mm. Um, mm. Now that I have like just more access to stuff, I'm, I understand the systems better. But it, yeah, you're going to be onboarding for a little while. Just be prepared for that. Mm. I kind of just broke through that wall myself with Tears of the Kingdom, which, like, I started mm. when it came out, and then I was like, I have so much stuff that I need to get that I'm used to having because of Breath of the Wild. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But I, f I feel like I finally I did be a place. some things in that. I was like, yeah. I'm focusing on agility or stamina. I'm yeah. I'm focusing on getting, um, upgrade my armor just once, and then I, like, okay. Now the I way just they like... just pop into... Oh, he's still... He's on fire. I just think I... He is his, like, on oh, his fire. Jetpack. Punch me. Punch. Um, a couple more questions. Um, a very specific one. Uh, so they like to do streams where they find cool areas in games and then paint them, playing our air style. Huh. Um, is there a large variety in environments, or is it all some variation of silly, funner, funny colored space rocks? 
Oh my god, that guy. The, this guy sorry. really wants you dead. He was really me meleeing me. I, I'm sorry I missed your question. Um, is there no, basically one. are there like I'm fun running. fun environments you think would be good for painting, or is it all just like space rocks? So I also did finally get to a planet that had like life and plants oh. and stuff on it, and that looked yeah. nice. So I'll say that as a thing. This um, guy is chasing you. Yeah. Uh, what's his problem? Yeah. I don't know where my ally is. You would help get, me with this. Go away! Uh, stop it! I have an axe. That's what you okay. get. Okay. You are just... Okay. Jeez. Um, Leave us alone. Us. We're trying to stream. <laughs> um, and then... If you like to paint... I will say this. I thought New Atlantis looked cool. And if you like sci-fi stuff, mm. I think like that... that To me, it looks like a Sid Me drawing okay, or something. Yeah. So... Um, but... um, how fast can you um, rush through the tutorial slow period? I mean, technically, I feel like I'm doing that now. And to mm -hmm. me, this level was like the first one I felt like I was like really having, oh, like combat can be tricky and I have to think mm -hmm. about, but I still do not have access to that many weapons. Mm -hmm. I have not custom, I don't have enough items to really think about like my loadout and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I was spending a lot more time this first time around looking through the environment because I didn't understand like what what is worth looking for in the environment yet. Yeah, yeah. So it was very yeah. slow and methodical, and I'm like, this is this is more boring. And now that I'm like, oh, I can do a bit more run and gun and yeah. just know what to look out for. Um, and then a couple oh, important should... questions. Is there a cat in the game? And um, also, what's Simone's favorite sandwich? <laughs> what's my favorite sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to know for the game. Shit. <laughs> what's but, my favorite But is there sandwich? a cat in the game? I have not encountered a cat, no. No cats encountered yet, okay. Um, the, the Renter asked, does this have as many Dune references as AC6? And I kid you not, when you said AC6, I, in my head, I went Animal Crossing 6. <laughs> <laughs> we, leaking Animal Crossing 6 right here. So, no, I have not yet encountered that. Um, I've not yet encountered the anything that I would say is particularly Dunish. Um, I do think this game is going for a like. It's, there's lots of different genres of sci-fi in it. Ooh. Um, and like New Atlantis is this kind. Of, like I said, it's kind of like Sid Mead, New F Clean Future. Maybe almost a little bit like Star Trekky. Yeah. Um, but I have a mission I haven't gone to yet in my game. Let's basically go to like the old sci-fi Western planet, the Firefy planet. Um, and I know there's at least a couple other, I mean, there's space cultists. Uh, obviously there's shit here that looks very NASA-like. Um, so, you know, you, you have almost to like take your pick of sci-fi in this a little, a little bit, um, cool. but I have not quite seen Dune sci-fi. To say that's almost that's a very particular one that doesn't mesh well with <laughs> others necessarily. A little Although, more operatic than thematically, they're right though. AC6 is doing a lot of a lot of riffing on that with its yeah. resource. Um, um, is this a dad game? Oh, I'm over. Uh, I could see this being a dad game for a lot of dads. Yeah, great, great. Um, I am really so I. I'm not a huge sandwich person. Mm. I, I Okay, I really love a good sandwich, but I'm very picky about a sandwich. I think the Popeye's fried chicken sandwich is perfect. I have mm. enjoyed a Reuben. I love a good roast beef sandwich, Where but I feel like be? for me, the sandwich that I will make at my home is like with spicy salami and cheddar and some um, uh, olive oil and balsamic vinegar, like I'll make that on a bun and take that skiing but i also mm. love a classic new york breakfast sandwich with um egg bacon and hot sauce on a roll mm -hmm. that's a good sandwich mm -hmm. so i've just named a lot of sandwiches that i like but i don't think i have a favorite sandwich like i couldn't think of a specific sandwich where i'm like i need her mm -hmm. except sometimes i do that with the popeyes when i'm on a road trip that's mm. the popeyes fried chicken sandwich you know what i got it in a rest stop popeyes once and it was so disappointing that i am like i i can't go to oh, no. rest stops it'll just disappoint me oh no yeah. that's sad i mean to be fair they were you know it was a kind of place where they're just like swamped probably with constant customers so i don't blame them for not being able to put the time into each individual <laughs> sandwich um but it's just like in fact i just recently took a road trip and i am now on team wawa as far as like oh the wawa meatball wawa. sub perfect, <laughs> oh, perfect place i forgot about a, it a road trip to get you know get your gas i'm get team your wawa simply based on the name wawa yeah wawa good wawa. I, know, I will say this that i'm on that team based on having never had the opportunity to try a sheets so i don't mm. know I yeah can't we're sheetsless up here yeah. um 
Yeah. Yes, give me, give me. Do you think melee builds could be viable in this game? Do you think melee builds could be could viable be. in this game? I so melee. I've oh, I think I've only gotten, um, like axes and knives. Uh, so melee build, maybe not just like entirely based around melee. Uh, although I guess here, the question there is, is that a is that a weapon thing? I, actually, I think there is an upgrade for uh, unhand. Uh, like Wawa chicken salad OP, really pliable head. Uh, I'm yeah, interested. My wife got that and she really liked it. Um, yeah, that, that was boxing. Probably. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, there's boxing. Mm-hmm. It can't looks like you can't go very far with oh. it. Um, but it's a thing. Energy weapons. Um, but we go back to combat. Um, dueling. There's tech crew really small and far away. I think that might be. But yeah, melee weapons. So there's literally an upgrade path for melee weapons. So yeah, I'm guessing you'll get some powerful ones. The thing is, there is you have like, in combat, the D-pad up each direction can have three things stored on it. So you can have a total of twelve things in your like hot button. So you can easily have like melee weapons and um Captain on deck. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. How much Ooh. time do we have left? We, we have two. It's two PM. Uh, yeah. We're at two. There I are, could rush to finish yeah. this this mission or sure. okay. yeah, let's finish yeah, the mission. There are a couple this. other questions in the Ish meantime the while you're doing it. To. Um does this game have a VATs equivalent? V A V A T S I have not encountered anything like that. Equivalent. Um but again I know Whoa. this is a game I've only started mm-hmm. and it's a big game. I could totally see some big changes to combat later on. And um, how about perks? Do they have unique effects, or is it a ton of do five percent more damage? Um, I think they're they're more often like that. But some things like, like I guess to describe lock picks, there's four levels of lock pick difficulty. Novice is the first one. Anyone can pick a, a novice lock pick, but you actually have to upgrade your security to even attempt the harder levels of lock pick. So there's some like gating of things, if that makes sense. I don't think you can even do stealth unless you have at least the first stealth. Mm. Upgrade. Um, oh, I should just travel. Um, but I think as far as combat goes, it is a bit like, you know, 10% more powerful energy weapons. Yeah. And then you can, once you pick that, like I was saying, then it's kind of a bit like a Skyrim or Oblivion thing where you have to keep working on using that weapon to upgrade mm. it further. Mm-hmm. And I think you've touched on this a little bit, but how does it compare to No Man's Sky so far? So far, I, there, there's there's differences in the likes. I think it's definitely in the same neighborhood. Uh huh. Oh no! Oh. oh no! Did not power up things right. I need shields. Okay. They're not gonna stop shooting. Space at you. is a pretty big neighborhood. Yeah. When you yeah, say in the same big. neighborhood, do you just mean they're both in space? <laughs> Yeah. Do we have any more uh, pasta facts, Tina? Oh yeah, pasta or lasagna, lasagna facts. facts. Um, let's let's talk about lasagna. Um, lasagna originated in Italy. Okay, we knew during the Middle Ages, and have traditionally been ascribed to the city of Naples. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, I did it. I did it. Well, I have to get close. I, I didn't, when I was playing this, I, 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 I was worried I, I'd killed the ship because somehow the engines were the last thing I was able to destroy. Yeah. But this time I did it very quickly. And then you can do this. You can do boarding action on something Hell with yeah. engines deactivated. Italy is um, a big neighborhood. And then my last lasagna fact. The first recorded recipe was set down in the early 14th century Liber de Coquina, the Book of Cookery. This recipe was later evolved into the traditional lasagna of Naples, lasagna di carnival, which is layered with local sausage, small fried meatballs. I don't know why small fried meatballs sounds cute. Like, oh, small fried meatballs. I like that Anyways, at <laughs> first you said it, meatballs. No, I like, I, there's lasagnas I get sometimes uh, that have like little, little round meatballs. sausage meatballs. meatballs. <laughs> Hard boiled eggs, oh, that's a toy ricotta or mozzarella, cheese, and Neapolitan ragu. Nice. I really want, I'm going to make some freaking pasta after this. <laughs> ancient lasagna. We love ancient lasagna. <laughs> Is there an Italian neighbor, uh, food in this neighbor? <laughs> yeah, the we closest. have yet to find Italian food in this game, but I believe, I mean... We've barely scratched the surface. I'm sure that there is space lasagna. 
I don't want to spread rumors. Obviously, I'm saying that this so funny. not as a, an employee of Polygon. I don't know anything, but it, is there lasagna in Starfield? Maybe. That, that'd be so goofy if, like, you know, you get a review copy of the game, Clayton, and you're just, like, a, on a quest to find lasagna, and that's, like, the one article you, you wanna, write about it. Wait, the only question you answer, quick, is wait. there or is there, is there not lasagna? Somebody in get game? in this Starfield uh, Slack and just ask. Oh. Star Italian. How, is there how many Italians lasagna escaped her? in Starfield? Important flag. Has anyone encountered <laughs> At everyone. It? Time sensitive. Time sensitive. Time <laughs> sensitive. Unless it's a, a an embargoed thing, yeah. which we don't know. Story. It's become huge. Yeah. That'd be so plot funny. St plot crucial lasagna. That'd be so funny. Like you can't talk about the lasagna in the game. We and have now to we're take just, the stream down. Just blacklisted <laughs> from Bethesda. Oh, no. <laughs> we fucked up. Lasagna embargo. So yeah, we rescued this guy. Lasagna. Um, you guys still exist. Jeff Parkin yeah, says I have not oh, seen lasagna, which yeah. doesn't mean it doesn't exist. About a strange object. Oh, interesting. If it's not in there yet, I hope they make lasagna DLC. If enough people ask for it, they will. <sighs> Can you ask any Italian food? Do, it, does it, Italy exist in this <laughs> okay. Is Italy confirmed? So Jeff universe? Parkin says, I have seen latkes. <gasps> Hmm. Okay. We're getting a com uh, confirmation on any Italian food at all. Yep, yep, Great. yep. Great. He's typing currently. But uh, yeah, this is the end of the mission. I um, Oh, I need to. Well, sorry, I didn't actually grab the thing. Am I going to meet well no. He yeah. says, hmm. No? Question mark. Hmm. Give me that. Okay. I want to trip again. Oh, so I didn't we trip don't that know. time. Back all right. Okay. Well, I mean, I just have to go back to the lodge, but that's essentially this first mission where you get a tour of the oh. source of and kind of gives you an idea of like, you go to planets and you can fight in bases. You can also board ships. Um, cool. You might have to go to a bar and talk to someone. It's just trying to, I think, give you a very general idea of what like missions might be in this sort of game. But after this, I mean, it, this literally does open up. Like the next thing that Constellation does is gives you three different missions to choose from and also lets you go do other missions. I very quickly uh, helped a bartender steal some important ingredients on a planet. Oh. Um, so yeah, you're doing shit like that. Like, you know, it's a Bethesda game. I um. have an update. <gasps> so he uh, he yeah. did say lots of Asian foods, question mark, and then continued on to elaborate udon, soba, etc. And you know what those are? Noodles. Noodles. Oh. <laughs> noodles confirmed. <laughs> noodles confirmed Let's for Starfield. Thank you, noodles. Jeff Parkin. I really appreciate Woo! it. Uh, and thank all you out there. And do you want to thank, and thank GameStop? And GameStop for sponsoring this stream. Mm. Did you know that Starfield, this very mm. game, mm -hmm. launches on Xbox on September 6th? Mm -hmm. 6th. 6th. Oh, no. I'm overthinking it now. Fans can get an additional $50 of trade credit when they trade in any console towards an Xbox Series X next week in GameStop stores. That is September 3rd through September 16th. So this is the perfect time to upgrade towards an Xbox Series X if you're ready for... The, if you can handle it. 4K? No problem. Can you handle it? Can you dig it? Do you want $50 of trade credit? J -Shark. Trade in a console. You can J play high 4K Blu-rays on it. <gasps> I was just going to say J Sharp Point. I was thinking the same thing. Thank you, GameStop, for, for supporting Noodles in Space. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we don't know that they support Noodles. We don't know. We, but, can't, we can't put words in the but, yeah. but there's Udon and Starfield. Bethesda supports noodles. Tangent to they support you okay, trading okay. in your console for an Xbox Series yeah. X. They support, you, they support you trading in, yeah, for, for the Xbox and then playing this game that has noodles in space. They're sort of enabling you to enjoy noodles yes. in space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's kind of the same thing. <laughs> you can't yeah. just put noodles in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to put some noodles in my mouth, and that's yeah. why we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, yeah. everybody, for uh, joining. Thanks. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. We will be streaming again. We usually stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern um, and uh, try to figure that out at the beginning of every week. But we will. this is our stream for today, so we're do not we streaming have, again today. Do you want to real quick check on Polygon? Is the review up? 
It is. Yeah. Review is up. Review is up. So I answered. I tried to answer questions, but the reviewers played way more of this game than me. So head there to learn more. We also have a bunch of guides up. I know that for a fact. Um, and so many. Yeah, and this is a game that those those would be helpful, but also uh, yeah, Starfield. Uh, really quickly, Alice Forever Cemetery uh, just got here and would like you to give a one word review of Starfield. If we can go out on that. Face. <laughs> my one word. My, I know I played none of it, and I only watched it. But my one word review is noodles. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Uh, I, uh, my one word review is. No, I, I don't need. I just need to know. Do I end oh, the stream yeah, now? you can end the stream yeah. now. Sorry, I thought you were putting me on the spot. Bye, everybody. <laughs> thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, Darfield and friends. We're ready, ready to, to party. We're ready to party. We're ready. Yeah. I hope you bring lots of spaceships. Yeah. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Come on in, it's fun party. Starfield. Fiesta. Siesta. Samba. La Bamba. Ay, caramba. Disguises. Surprises. Surprises. And planets. planets. All <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Darfield. And friends. We're, we're ready, ready to, to party. We're ready to party. We're ready. Yeah. I hope you bring lots of spaceships. Yeah. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Starfield. Fiesta. Fiesta. La Bamba. Ay, caramba. Disguises. Surprises. And planets. All sizes. Ladies and gentlemen.